Hi everybody, um, I'm going to show you how to do this in class, so if you're watching this, it is just a simple mental material for you at this point. So I created a new file in um, Adobe Illustrator, and it gives me the portrait. I want to change it to landscape uh, setup, so you go file, document setup, uh, doesn't live here. So you can just move it so it move the borders of the canvas so it's a little bit more horizontal rather than portrait. And just hit enter or hit OK. And then hit the uh, black arrow tool. So a um, few of these things I do not need. I do want the layers on. So the first thing I'm going to do is make the lines for my type diagram. I'm going to hit OK, hit OK. Now my lines are just going to be actual lines, so the default settings for the color palette are fine. And when you, if you want to make a line, you click, whoops, well what I do is I hold down the shift key and then I click and then I just drag um, across and what that does is make a nice straight line for me. So from there you could just copy paste, copy paste, but um, I'm just going to show you um that at this point so all right so there's the lines the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to draw my name actually just type it out and when as soon as you use the type tool uh the color palette flips to what you need like just the black so catherine I could do it separately i'm just going to go ahead and do both because you can change the different type styles um on one line. So there's my name, obviously that is too small, so I'm going to the character panel um, and I'm going to make it about, I don't know, 72. Bring her down. So I'm going to have it sit perfectly on that line. So you can see my first name doesn't have any um, ends on it, so that's a sans serif. My last name, I want to um, give it a serif make it a serif font. So I'm looking for something that has clear ends on it. So you can see all the perpendicular um, bits like on the H, etc. So that's sans serif and that is serif. So I got my name set. So I actually need another line. So there's two ways I could do it. I could unlock it, unlock this layer. I can touch it, copy, paste. So now I have another line. I could also just take this layer and drag it to the left of the trash can and it would duplicate the layer. So one thing to note when you're doing um, a type diagram is I got lucky that the X heights, meaning the lowercase height of these letters is exactly the same. So you might choose two different fonts that have various heights. If that's the case, um, then you need two lines. And what you do in order to edit to make one line shorter than the other. You just get that white arrow tool, click on the very end of your line, hold down the shift key, get the left arrow, and move it all the way over. And now I just have the first line is on top of the Catherine lowercase letters. And then I'm gonna copy, paste, second line, is on top of Humphrey's lowercase letters. So you might ask, well, how do I decide um, what it should rest on? I think really the common denominator. So everything but the H is about where it should be. All right, so now I have my baseline, I have my mean line, and I'm going to have um, two descender lines as well. So I'm going to paste again. I'm going to make a line that hits the uh, bottom of the P. And I'm going to move this over, the shift key to get it over in a hurry. And I'm going to select that, copy, paste. And then another one for the bottom of the Y. So how do I make the labels? Just start typing. So I'm going to use the word baseline. 
and that is too giant sized so labels should just be small baseline you can copy these put them everywhere that'll be your mean line I'm gonna have um, descenders I'm gonna have um, a cap line and of course you just get in there and um, change whatever the content is in line another thing you might want to do once you get um, the labels in here is you might want to make arrows in order to make arrows let's see click on the stroke box first of all let's make it there's my arrow it's just a line um, if it comes out invisible then you click down here there's a little default fill in stroke that's what you want so I've got that selected you come up here and you click on stroke panel so you see there's arrowheads I think the first one is the bottom but let's see I always get them mixed up yep so it's um, I'm gonna say none and pick the second one there you go I can never get that right so you can make these really fat which don't look too elegant for a type diagram or you can make them about 0.5 which gives you a really thin beautiful line so let's say I wanted to point out that both of these are descenders I'm gonna move my arrow over there I'm going to type the word descenders instead of baseline and I'm going to grab the end where the arrow is drag it right here very nice and then I'm gonna make another one I could also copy and paste that you know what I think that's what I'll do so I'll select that copy paste I'll bring it over here except I'm going to take the end of that and move it to the top descenders so I've got two descenders so that's basically um, how you create a type diagram you just add more but this is the um, base of it one last thing I guess I'll show you is um, you want to do the X height which is the height of the lowercase letters that's just a line hold shift to get it to go straight and then you just put arrowheads on both ends right and then that'll show that you're actually showing the width and that's the same thing you would do with cap height and then you put the label right next to it okay well i hope uh that's clear if you have any questions let me know bye